Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video on why I don't count calories. The reason I don't count calories, well one reason I don't count calories is because it is extremely counterproductive. What I mean by that is um, people usually count calories in order to maintain the least amount of calories that they could to live their daily lives and to most of the time lose weight. Most of the time people are counting calories to lose weight. And by doing that, you're limiting yourself in a lot of ways and restricting yourself in a lot of ways that aren't beneficial to your long-term weight loss. When we lose weight, I don't think I know anybody that wants to gain the weight after they have lost it. And of course, you know, people who have eating disorders, yes, but I mean people who are counting calories to lose weight and then can't wait until they gain the weight back. No, everyone usually wants to just quick fix, lose the weight, cut the calories, that's how you do it, and yay, you know, we'll gain, you know, 20 pounds back in a few months. No, that's not the weight loss you're looking for. You're looking for long-term results. And, and for long-term results, you need to fuel your body with the right nutrients, the right foods, and you need to get rid of that restrictive mentality, get rid of all of your notions about carbs, all of your notions about counting calories, and really just let go and start fresh. That's the best way to do it because we have all these different things that we're being told by the media, we're being told by our families, we're being, we just hear around and we think that it's true and it's and it's not true um you know uh, like i said in my first video people who do research on these things uh will find many different facts about how to lose weight long term and i think that that's the main thing is that you know you have to commit to something you can't just expect to, to lose weight and and it just be a miracle and you didn't do anything it takes work it takes hard work to adapt to a more healthy lifestyle Coming from an Italian home, I used to eat meatballs a lot, I used to eat cheese a lot, I used to eat, uh, you know, any kind of meat a lot, and um, not any kind, of, there were certain things I didn't like, but, you know, it and it wasn't that difficult for me, it really wasn't that difficult for me, and, you know, I'm, I come from a past of eating bad food, like a lot, a lot of bad food, especially in high school. I would eat McDonald's every week, at least once a week, or Wendy's, or something like that. I'm not going to give up, and I'm not going to just say, mm, I didn't lose the weight, I'm going to go to something else. And that kind of attitude isn't going to really get you very far, and I can tell you that right now. Um, you really need to commit, you really need to just wait, just be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. And if you want it to, to be done in a healthy way, it's definitely not going to be done overnight. And another thing to think about is the animals. And, and that's something that even if I lost all of the weight in a day, I would still be vegan because after everything I found out, I just, I can't, I can't contribute to that. And even if I'm one person, that's fine with me. I I'm, I feel more peaceful knowing that I don't contribute to what these animals go with. But that's a video in itself. So let's go back to the counting calories situation. Um, a lot of people think that the maximum calorie intake of a person should be, uh, for people who that I've heard are dieting probably, 15 to 1700 calories and that's not enough for me who sits in a chair and you know doesn't move much every day so in order for me to have the energy that I have and to have the ability that I have mentally I do need to 2000 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the video quality. Um, I'm going to try to figure something else out. This is just the easiest thing at the moment. I know I did have another camera my first video and I wish I could use that camera but unfortunately it's not mine. So I'm going to have to figure something else out and um, again I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment or a like down below if you feel like getting into the conversation. <laughs> and um, I also have Instagram. I put it down below. And uh, you can add me there and see what I'm eating or what I'm up to. I usually post there frequently. So have a good day. Bye.